you have your name, job title and company please? Uh, yes, I'm Peter Butler, I'm the country manager for UK and Ireland for Sastrify. Perfect. So Peter, a recent survey showed that four in five companies overspend on SAS this year. What trends are contributing to this overspending? Yes, so one of the trends, and it's important here to identify a different difference between overspending and spending in general. Overspending is uh, spending too much on your current tools, um, and overspending can happen when uh, there are, is a lack of involvement from procurement or finance teams. Um, often other teams won't have the same incentives to reduce costs, so it's, it's really important to get, to get those guys involved. Um, another reason is not knowing how much you're spending and what you're spending it on. It's sometimes it can get a little bit difficult to maintain uh, a level of visibility on your tech stack. So Perfect. I totally agree. Thanks for that, Peter. So what steps can companies take to minimize spend and maximize returns on their SaaS procurement journey? When buying and renewing software or SaaS, it's, it's really important to make sure that you're comparing your current setup to at least two other similar tools. Uh, and do that on every tool purchase or tool renewal. Make sure that you're benchmarking what tool you're using against two of their competitors. The, your current supplier will know what their competitors' commercials are, and they will then make sure they stay competitive in that renewal or purchasing process. Uh, it's also very, very important to make sure that you involve procurement or finance in that purchasing process because those are the guys who are skilled at negotiating and can help bring down those costs. Thanks Peter, have a great show. Thanks very much. Thanks.